It's a congregation born a little more than a month ago. I'm glad to see new faces tonight. Membership is growing by the day. Please share the information that you have and what kind of help are you looking for. Some share different languages, but each person is united by one common goal. Ease the suffering of people thousands of miles away. Mad. And honestly, just, you know, want to want to stop it somehow, but impossible. Ukrainian native Oskar Zagorodny co-founded Lift Up Ukraine days after Russia invaded its neighbor. Right now, the biggest thing is medicine, medical equipment and medicine. Oskar felt compelled to act while watching his native land disintegrate into all-out war. My first thoughts when, when the war started, it was just to go there, you know, to protect the homeland. The nonprofit is galvanizing people across Virginia and beyond to help Ukrainians who've lost most everything. All kinds of damages. The group also collects donated personal hygiene products like toothpaste, deodorant and soap for citizens and soldiers alike. This is like emergency, emergency kits survivor kids. The goods are shipped to New Jersey, then Poland, and then driven into the war zone, where joyful Ukrainians welcome the containers with open arms. Ukrainian native Max Zagorodny sorts and compiles the items that pour into his Henrico warehouse daily. Kids' medicine, allergy, cold. Max says the suffering he sees cuts deep. Some people asking me, like, do you have a family there? And in some, in some point, it feels like every single person there is your family. It hurts. Lift Up Ukraine has already delivered 1,500 sets of life-saving protective gear for soldiers fighting the Russians. You just know you have to do it. And just ask a question, is like, if I'm not do it, who, who else will be? Just how grateful are the citizen soldiers of Ukraine? Glory to Virginia. This message just arrived from the front lines. Hello, I don't believe it's going to end anytime soon. I see more bad times coming. Co-founder Levin White says so, donations uh, we're trying our best are key. One, one shipment could cost seven or eight thousand dollars. And that's a big, big bulk of our uh, expenses. The law enforcement officer says the group depends on the generosity of Americans. Uh, very good point. To grow their mission. The small businesses and the uh, private individuals here in the Richmond area are the ones that have really stepped up to the plate. With the situation deteriorating by the day, volunteers behind Lift Up Ukraine remain determined. So we know for sure that those items are going to, 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 to the right hands. So many people throw their self to help. It's, um, I can tell you how, how much appreciate we are and how much that feeling of community that they care. This new congregation says they have no choice but to carry on because so many lives are depending on them. As long as we need it, you know, as long as we can help, that's all what it takes. If you would like to lend a hand and donate some life-saving items to lift up Ukraine or attend one of the many fundraisers they have coming up this spring, I have that information on our website, WTVR.com. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.